Remember that good old Beatles song back in the USSR? I'm back in the USSR. You don't know how lucky you are, boys, back in the USSR? Well, I once was a teenage communist, atheist, left-wing, progressive, anti-American protester, and this should bring all of you to attention right now because it's back to America, hard hats, and back to hard work. We need to take the high ground on VFI News. It's so good to see all of you again. I see you. And so anyways, let's talk about this issue of socialism, communism, capitalism, and all that kind of stuff mixed together. Because in 1963, communism's 45 goals were read into the congressional record by Congressman Albert Herlong Jr. And by the way, he was a Democrat from Florida. These comments or points were all from former or current communists at the time. There is an active ongoing threat to the sovereignty of the United States, and may I say the rest of the nations as well, and what the Founding Fathers warned against. So don't be naive. There is an active plan, a global elite plan, to overthrow the United States from within. Most people are apathetic these days. Wouldn't you agree? <sighs> oh, yes, I would agree. And they're tired of fighting to keep their freedoms. We're just getting tired, worn out. I mean, we're just trying to live, no? Well, we are being distracted by the corruption, by the news, by all sorts of things that are bombarding us from all different sides. And wouldn't you know it, for lack of a better reason, they're now saying in Congress it could be UFOs. Hmm, well, that's something to think about as well. But here are some of those 45 communist goals that were read in 1973. Nope, 63, caught you, haha. <laughs> Basically, another word from communism is an extension of socialism or progressivism. Okay, well, number one, capture one or both of the political parties in the United States. Number two, get control of the schools and teachers associations. Number three, gain control of all student newspapers. Four, infiltrate the press. Five, gain control of key positions in radio, TV, and film or pictures. Six, eliminate all laws governing obscenity by calling them censorship and a violation of free speech and press. Seven, break down the cultural standard of morality and obscenity in the media. Eight, present homosexuality and may I add transgenderism and promiscuity as normal, natural, and healthy. Is it? Infiltrate the churches and replace revealed religion with social religion. Discredit the Bible and emphasize the need for intellectual maturity, which does not need a religious crutch. Remember somebody once said, religion is the opiate of the people? That was a communist saying as well. Next, eliminate prayer or any phase of religious expression in the schools on the grounds that it violates the principle of separation of church and state. Replacing belief in the Creator with belief in the earthly, uncontrolled state. Number 11. Discredit American Constitution by calling it inadequate and old-fashioned. Number 12. Discredit the American Founding Fathers as selfish aristocrats and racists. How often we hear that word today. Number 13. Belittle American culture and discourage the teaching of American history. By the way, I'm probably of a generation that did study American history. Today, does anybody study history at all? That's a great question. Number 14. Infiltrate and gain control of big business and unions. Turn America into a socialist police state. We are well on the way of seeing that happen right now. 15. Transfer some of the powers of arrest and from the police to social agencies. Treat all behavioral problems as mental health and social problems. Of course, somebody murders somebody. It must have been he was rejected. Well, 16. Discredit the family as an institution. Encourage promiscuity and easy divorce. They say that one out of every two marriages ends in divorce today, and that's also true amongst Christians. That's a shame. Number 17. Emphasize the need to raise children away from the negative influence of parents. Number 18. Repeal the Connolly Reservation, allowing the world court jurisdiction over nations and individuals alike. By the way, 
this would mark a complete subversion of the Constitution of the United States and an end to representative sovereign government as we know it, which is the whole idea behind this communistic scheme. Number 19, eliminate all laws or procedures which interfere with the operation of the communist apparatus. 20, create the impression that violence and insurrection are legitimate aspects of the American tradition. That's what people would like to think these days. That students and special interest groups should rise up and make a united force to solve economic, political, or social problems. And one more, just to add as a bonus, out of the 45, which I have no time to read to all of you today, provide American aid to all nations regardless of communist domination. And I will add to that probably also Islamic jihadist regimes such as Iran. Well, in a great article by Don Fetter in the Washington Times, I would like to refer to some points he makes. The signs of imminent collapse are all around us. And by the way, this isn't just being voiced to all of you in the United States of America or in Canada, but to Israel as well and to the nations throughout the world that still believe in a Western-style democracy, even though that's not the best government. The best government is the kingdom of God on earth, and that will happen. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen? Okay. Well, the signs of imminent collapse are all around us. First of all, a ruling class that's opened the floodgates of uncontrolled immigration no matter what the consequences are. And you think they really care in Washington, D.C.? No way. Two, crime without punishment. We see this everywhere. Number three, elites that mock the values on which our nations were founded. And by the way, have you taken a look at the gas meter on each of these celebrities' planes that's burning fuel in the air and causing air pollution, and yet touting around raising funds to gain climate control in their hands and your lives as well? And number four, supporting barbarians at the gate. Not Barry, but barbarians. That's right. Yes, have you taken a look at how many terrorists have been trying to come through the U.S. southwestern border? It's appalling. Number five, refusing to procreate in sufficient numbers to maintain our population. Right now, the United States is not repopulating enough to even increase or hold our population stability as it should be. So go out there and make babies, you married couples. Number six, flash mob looting. You know, on August 18th, a mob organized on the internet came into a 7-Eleven store. I believe it was out in Los Angeles or somewhere. And they cleaned out just about everything, cigarettes, lottery tickets, potato chips, lifesavers, with their faces brazenly showing on camera. They didn't care. You know why? Because the law out there is they can steal somewhat up to $900 and not be prosecuted. And believe me, I doubt any of them will be prosecuted. Number eight, a recent editorial in the University of Virginia newspaper demanded that Thomas Jefferson's name be removed from the very school he founded. Number nine, Communist China unleashed a virus that killed more than a million Americans and millions around the world. It exports fentanyl. It's killing American lives. Over 107,000 lives lost to drug overdoses alone in 2021. The leading cause of drug deaths in America is because of fentanyl. And there is no accountability, neither in Washington nor for those nations supporting this drug craze. And finally, I want to add this note, my own note to this. Just take a look around you in the United States and around the world at major cities like San Francisco, New Orleans, Baltimore, Chicago, Detroit, St. Louis, Los Angeles, New York City, and many more just like them. They are becoming filthy waste dumps with drug needles, the homeless, crime, murder, and human waste. Our passivity, not just in America, people, but those who adhere to some form of Western-style democracies and nations even like Israel are being subverted to become pawns on a chess table. Nations like in the game of risk, just take them over. A new global, new world order to fulfill the aspirations and demonic schemes of this global elite and the spirit of Antichrist. This anti-Messiah spirit or anti-God is moving in a dark cloud over the nations today. 
But Revelation chapter 11 verse 15 says, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of the Lord and of his Messiah, and he shall reign forever and ever. Daniel 7 27 says, And the greatness of the kingdoms under the whole heaven shall be given to the people, the saints of the Most High. That, my people, is your inheritance. And that is why I bring you this news message, a good news message at VFI News. Send me your comments, subscribe at VFI News, and give us a thumbs up like, and we'll bring more to you.